So they teach us about gravity when we're young kids because when you're a young kid, you kind of believe everything that you hear. They tell us that gravity was discovered by a guy named Isaac Newton. And by the time he was 23, he had discovered gravity, invented calculus, and trigonometry. Well, I'm telling you right now, none of that happened. Gravity's just a theory and an excuse, really. Um, it's real simple. If there's a force strong enough to hold oceans to the planet, there's a force. We should all be stuck to the ground. You know, the force can hold buildings, skyscrapers, tanks, ships to it, but it can't hold a helium balloon. Helium balloon just flies away, smoke just flies away. Everything should be stuck to the ground like a magnet if there's a force holding oceans to it. It doesn't make any sense. Once you look at gravity and you try to prove that it's real, you'll discover there's no proof of it and that there is only proof of density, buoyancy, and electrostatics. Electrostatics is a proven thing. We all know that a positive and a negative will attract towards each other. So the Earth has a neutral or negative charge. Everything above it has a positive charge and it is attracted to it. Everything that exists is electric. There's not one thing that exists in the entire world that is not electric. It's actually the unifying force that keeps everything here, holds everything together, and everything seeks equilibrium based on that. So everything's trying to find a state of rest based on its electric phenomena or its electric nature within the environment that we exist within. And then when you start to look further into it, you find out that on the smallest scale, electrostatics is significantly stronger than gravity is even claimed to be. Magnitude's greater, 10 to the 36 power to be specific. So everything, simply put, everything that exists is electric. Everything that is falling to the ground or not falling to the ground is seeking equilibrium based on electrostatics. We can actually test this. We can use something called a corona motor and whenever we manipulate electrostatics we can make things levitate. We can make things go up or down and we can actually change how fast they go down. We can also manipulate the weight of an object simply by manipulating electrostatics. And of course that's how science actually works, is you do an experiment that shows you what the cause of the effect is, and you can manipulate electrostatics and cause the effect of downward acceleration, commonly referred to as gravity. Of course I've never seen a test that manipulates space-time, and you will never see that, it doesn't exist. Everyone thinks that the reason things fall is because of gravity, but actually everything that exists is electrostatic. So whenever things go to the ground, they're seeking equilibrium. So they go find their balance on the ground where their charge disperses or spreads out in through the ground. So we have positive charge in the air. We have negative charge on the surface of the earth or on the ground, which is why it's called grounding. And then we introduced positive charge and then it went back down to the ground to seek equilibrium. This shows that that's actually what objects do when they fall to the ground. They go to the ground because of the electric forces and they seek equilibrium on the earth. We knew about it as in the 1950s, even earlier, and it's all been hidden because if humans were allowed uh, free energy, free movement, and able to explore, we would find out what this place is. We'd find out our position in this world. And that's the number one thing. Why, that's, why are they hiding flat earth? Why? What's the motive? And the motive is to keep us dumbed down, not knowing who we are, not knowing where we are, not knowing the true power that we have, and not having true freedom.